Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak and this is Controversies in Urology. A few weeks ago, Medscape carried a story about the extensiveness of lymph node dissections in men having a radical prostatectomy. The story centers around the fact that recent studies have shown that a limited dissection will miss finding pelvic lymph node metastases in a significant number of cases. Now clearly, men that have low risk disease, meaning Gleason score of 6, PSA under 10, and a normal digital rectal exam, have almost no chance of having pelvic lymph node dissections, at least when looked at in the limited dissection. And until something changes, that probably means that patients like with those character characteristics should not undergo a pelvic lymph node dissection. On the other hand, those men that have high Gleason score, high PSA, abnormal digital rectal exam have a significantly higher risk. And the limited dissection will miss finding cancer in a significant number of patients. In fact, there are skip areas where the traditional lymph node packet is negative, but the more extensive packet shows cancer that has spread to those lymph nodes. So the question is, what do we do for those high-risk patients? Well, as I said before, clearly, if you have a low-risk patient, it makes no sense to do the lymph node dissection at all. It's not worth the risk. But in those men who have maybe a 15% chance or higher of lymph node metastases based on their preoperative characteristics, and those men that are going to go and have a lymph node dissection, it seems that they need to have a more extensive dissection done if the goal is to find out if lymph node metastases are present. Now, there are a couple of questions here that remain unanswered. Number one, do patients benefit by having better survival if you take out lymph nodes that are invaded with cancer? No study has ever demonstrated that in the past. And so we'll, we don't know whether there's a therapeutic benefit to removing the lymph nodes, or it simply is diagnostic, telling the doctor the cancer is more extensive, and then alerting them to consider going on hormone therapy. We have only one prospective randomized trial demonstrating that early hormone therapy for lymph node metastasis gives a better survival compared to delayed hormone therapy. But that study was done prior to PSA and at a time when pelvic lymph node metastases were far more extensive than they are today. So the real question comes down to whether or not it is worth putting patients through the added risk with a higher incidence of pelvic uh, lymphocytes, deep vein thrombosis, and pulmonary emboli from the more extensive dissection. Is it worth it? Or would patients do just as well to have the more limited dissection, and then should their PSA rise rel relatively soon after the surgery, treat them with the belief that they had lymph node metastases that were present? And so you really won't miss out very much on the potential gain from early hormone treatment. There are questions that remain unanswered, but for the moment it seems that a conversation with patients to try and explain these trade-offs is something that needs to be done on a regular basis. If you're going to do a lymph node dissection and believe it's important to find pelvic lymph node metastasis, then a more extensive dissection clearly seems to be in order at this time. On the other hand, if you're just gathering information and don't think it makes much of a difference, it may not be in a patient's best interest to have the more extensive, done, more extensive dissection done. I look forward to your comments. Thank you.